When he was 10, Nathan Sawyer wanted a dog. His parents said no, so he built one using Lego bricks. Then he grew up to become a corporate lawyer. I would come home at night and I would need some sort of creative outlet. Sometimes it was drawing, sometimes painting, and sometimes... Yep, sometimes it was Lego. Life-size 3D, his works have toured the world, and eight-year-old Ollie Broughton, for one, is very, very impressed. I think my favourite thing was the T-Rex. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I've never seen anything like this before at all. Did you imagine that Lego could create things like this? No, but it's amazing seeing that it can and that you can make so many things out of just rectangular bricks of Lego. When you're three or four, Lego is a thing of seemingly endless possibility, but not a great deal of variety and ingenuity in terms of the things that you actually produce. But as we've seen from the artist here, when you're in your 40s, almost anything becomes possible, like, like this little house that I've just made. It's got a window, a door, and, and, a, and a little Lego man outside. It's not the sort of box houses and, 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 and farmyard scenes that you normally see in right. a living room at home. Is, is your message here that anybody can do this and should, or is this rarefied art that should stay rarefied art? Well, I want to inspire. That's my goal, is to inspire others. So if they want to take on these type of projects, I, say, I encourage them to do so. Sawyer has been described as a surrealist mashup of forms and artists, which makes sense when you look at his Lego Scream or his Mona Lego Lisa. Eat your Lego heart out, Leonardo. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.